Hi, it's me, Papa John. Today, I want to show how to terminate our high-end, uh, really top-performance two-piece Cat6 standard modular plug, RJ45. Uh, a lot of times you'll see it referenced as 8P8C. Uh, I have my tools here, my basic tools to do this. My crimp tool, which is our Tele Titan uh, crimp tool, great product by the way. My electrician scissors, my flush cutter, and then for stripping my cable, I'm using my Cyclops. I like my Cyclops, it has a wide range all the way from 0.1 to 0.43. And my six and one screwdriver, I'm not screwing anything down, but I use my shaft for combing out the kinks in my uh, pairs and get them all nice and straight so they lie side by side with no gap. So we're gonna talk about the, uh, uh, the part number on the jar is, uh, is, is a 106188J. And uh, it's a three prong uh, contact for solid wire, two piece. And we're gonna see how we do this. What I like about this connector is it accommodates some of the bigger cables that are out there, especially on the conductor. This cable here that we're going to demo uh, today and terminate, these conductors are running around 42.5 to 44 thousandths on the OD. And the cable jacket, this cable jacket isn't that big. Uh, it's around 278, I think it is. But the connector will accommodate up to 287 uh, inches. So it's, it's really uh, accommodating for a lot of the different cables that are out there. Let's go ahead and, and uh, terminate here. And the first thing we have to do, of course, is remove the jacket. So I'm gonna put my Cyclops in. I'm gonna stop about right there. And I'm gonna go around twice, remove the tool, and then we break the jacket and slide that off. So let me get rid of this here. And I'm gonna pull that back real tight. Take my flush cutter. and remove that. And then I'm not throwing my jacket away. Remember, we always use that to separate our pairs. And then we're gonna pull these out, south, north, east, west, and open each end. Take the jacket, go down, come off, and do it, whoop, and separate another one. Okay, we're separated. Got our kinks combed out, and I'm ready to lay out. I'm gonna go with the B, so we're gonna go orange, white, orange, and then green, white, blue, blue, white, and green. Brown, white, and brown. So there's my layout. And then work them in. And I'm ready to, whoop almost to trim here I'm going to take my cutter okay take my liner bar and I'm top side I want the top to have the slits in it that's where the contacts go through this is a stagger, so I want to make sure I just don't push it on, but sort of get it in the back end and then sort of move it up and down. Let those conductors find themselves. There they go. Now they're in a stagger format. And then we're going to slide this bar all the way down to the jacket. Once it's at the jacket, make sure it's square. Then we take our flush cutter and we put it right in front of the bar. And there's your prep. So that's what it looks like. Take your connector and just go in and you'll feel the bar snap into place when it gets up inside under the contacts. And right there it snapped, makes sort of a snap and it's ready to go. I don't have to question whether it's all the way up there or not. You'll, you'll feel it and you'll hear it. So let's take our Teletitan tool here Put this in, make sure it's, hold it tight while you're crimping it, ready to go, bring it down, and there you go. Cat6, high performance, quick and easy, it's a great connector, thanks.